Now let's take a look at this Corbin that I got from Bosnian Bill. If I can get the camera to focus. There you go. Here's what the bidding looks like. And it does work perfectly. It's a rim cylinder, five pins. Let's see if we can get into this guy. I'm gonna use tap tension and a thin Peterson. And just go in there and try to set some pins. Usually I have a little trouble holding these, but tried it in the vise, I just couldn't do it. There it is. Every time I set the last pin, I kick the uh, I kick the um, the tension wrench out. So there it is. Let's try to uh, let's try to gut it real quick. Let's see if we can't do that. Um, try to get this uh, clip off of here. Probably not gonna happen. Oh, there we go. I gotta try to do this quick before the battery dies. Um, wow, well, we get to use the the large follower today. So uh, let's see. I got the key pins there. Let's try. To try to put this through. No, I guess I misspoke. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Beautiful. Oh, okay, so we got six chambers, but uh, only five pins. So here, let me angle the camera just a little bit better. Kind of zoom in a little bit. Alright, so one. Looks like a standard pin. Two, we got a standard pin. Standard. Standard. Let's take a look in the drivers. Let's get my tweezers. I didn't get any false sets, so I assume all these are standard. Yep, I got a standard. Another standard. Another standard. I think they're all standards. Yep. So there's the Corbin. All it is is springs left, but there it is. We got all standard pins. All the key pins are standard. We got a nice long pin in the back there. That was a nice deep cut. So that's what you're looking at if you're seeing one of these Corbins. Um, not a whole lot of feedback because of them standard pins, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Alright, thanks for watching, and of course, be legal.